Yeah, I know. Still the same background. I don't care. Let's do it. What up, everybody? Alfie here, aka Random Black Guy, aka a sweaty chocolate face, no makeup, just came home from the gym. Let's do it. Let's talk about Bullet Train. Bullet Train is the newest David Leach director's film, and the story Brad Pitt is starring half of the cast of Atlanta, Brian Terry Henry, and Zazie Beats is. It got Michael Shannon, what's his name? Aaron Taylor Johnson, and also a bunny that is bad. Like, really bad. <laughs> what is the plot about? It's pretty much about an assassin called Ladybug that pretty much wants to do his last job in a peaceful way. But this time around, Ladybug is, is stuck with a bunch of other hitmen in the train. That's somewhat a... Uh, 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 summarized plot. I don't hate this film. This film is uh, getting a divisive uh, review from people. Either you're going to love it or hate it. I'm pretty much on the camp of loving it, but this film has a lot of flaws. This film is a summer blockbuster film with a stupid conclusion, but likable acting and somewhat likable characters. Brad Pitt at Ladybug, to me, he is just having so much fun with this film. You can clearly see that he's just, he's having a blast. To me, he's carrying this film because he's funny. Uh, he is somewhat charming. He is likable, even though his character is, is a shitty character. You can clearly see his grin on his face that he's just having fun. And if we see a character or actor having fun, most of the audience is also going to have fun because you're joining the ride. So to me, I just, I like Brad Pitt so much in this film. He is really, really fun. And also another person that I really enjoyed was actually Aaron Taylor Johnson. Uh, he was also really good. Uh, him and <laughs> Brian Terry Henry are twins or the twins. This somewhat explain the, the, the weird coincidence of being twins, but yeah, to me, I just, I like him. I thought he was really, really good in this film also. But to me, most of all, uh, Brad Pitt steals the show. Uh, another thing about this film, you know, this film is just, it's a hard hitting, straight up tempo action flick with, you know, sprinkles of comedy. But yeah, I pretty much like this film because I pretty much just, I, I closed my brain after a while. <laughs> the first 30 minutes, it, it got me irritated just because of the many decisions they do in this film. And also, this film, you clearly see that this film is so much influenced by the old Guy Ritchie films like Snatch, uh, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, even The Revolver, you can see that he, David Lee stole some stuff of those films and added it to this film. Even Smoking Aces, if you remember that film, it, it has those elements in this film. And what I mean with Smoking Aces is, it's, it's a minor spoilers. It's that it introduces uh, characters that you think is going to be like a, a big character in this film. But some of the characters are introduced by pretty much you know, showing the title and like cool posts with them. But they can be dead like after five minutes. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you know, some of the characters are, I, I would say, are uh, unpredictable in that aspect, but yeah, you can clearly see that Brad Pitt is the main protagonist in this film. Uh, like I said, this is a hard hitting action. You can see that David Lynch has an eye for action sequence because he directed Deadpool, he also directed John Wick. So you can see that he added those action sequences on this film. And this film is mainly on the train. So by adding action sequence on the train, I thought it was kind of neat seeing that. And he, he added some new, unique ways to do it. Um, yeah, you know, it is a straight up in your face action, action, action. Um, like I said, the first 30 minutes to me, I was like, oh, and also the last 10 minutes to me, or not even 10 minutes, 20 minutes to me was just like, <sighs> uh, do you really want to end this way with this film? They pretty much end this film with a sequel, babe. They do a lot of like fast cuts and clips. Uh, and also like really fast 
flashback so we can get somewhat of, of, of a more aspect of these characters we are getting introduced to. It was okay. The main antagonist, Michael Shannon, was he good? He was all right. To me, he wasn't the best character in this film, but it was, it was okay. I think he over, overacted. Yeah, you know, this film is two hours long. I would probably say that this film could be cut at least 20 minutes, 25 minutes, because I, I lost focus after a while because it just, it was the same thing happening. On the surface, it's a nice film, but after a while, it tends to be a little bit too much and it feels like it, they drag a little bit too much. And it, the, the thing that I really like was like, the film started as a wink wink to the audience, but in the end, this film just took itself too goddamn serious. And I hate when films doing that, just being fucking pretentious because of it. And, yeah, it, it did that by the end of the film. And I think that it, it has somewhat of identity crisis when it comes to the film. It doesn't know what it want to be by the end of the film. But overall, like I said, it's a summer blockbuster film. And Brad Pitt and Aaron Taylor Johnson, they were good in this film. And it had a pretty nice action sequence. So my rating of Bullet Train, I would give Bullet Train a 2.7 out of 5. An above average action flick. And I think a lot of people are gonna have fun, you know. He's he's having fun. I, I I really enjoy Brad Pitt, and you know he's playing the the willing action hero who doesn't really want to fight. He just want to do it in a peaceful way, and I like that aspect. The fight choreography is nice. Um, the action sequences are nice. The music it is a little bit too much, and it has a problem of bouncing off the film overall. But I think the production value of the film is nice. The cameos are good. I think the ensembles overall are really, really good in this film. But to me, it's just, it's an enjoyable film. It's a brutal film, but it has some ways of, a, of, of a, an identity crisis. And also it takes itself too goddamn serious. And I hate when films does that, but that's just me. And it, it, it tends to be a little bit long too. So that is my main problem with the film. 2.7 out of 5 for Bullet Train. Anyways, guys, what do you think about Bullet Train? Do you love it? Do you not love it? Write your comments down below and let your boy know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. So every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to see it. My name is Alfred, a.k.a. Random Black Guy, a.k.a. Chocolate Face No Makeup. With my review for the film Bullet Train. Until next time, guys, I'm going to give you out there. Pray. Pray? Peace. Peace.